you heard what's going on. There's this uh, strange disease running down here. Yeah, I heard. As long as we stay together and stay away from the others, we should be fine. Dude, that's not why I'm worried. But what about the dope man? I mean, th th this is the way infections spread. And we don't buy from anyone who's not with us. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Hey, the warden wants to see the new guy. Give him the usual welcome speech. Man's annoying as hell. Oh, poor guy. What about him? Me either. Open up. Hey, one wants to piss in this guy's ears for 20 minutes. Give me that little piece of paper so he can sign it. Ah, you mean the checkpoint? Yeah, the fuck point. Hey, hey, Baldy, sign it up. I always wonder. This place is in like the 23rd century, technology-wise. But we still make people sign these damn fuck points with a pen and paper. You tell me. Hey, you tell me. Doesn't that seem a little contradictory to you? Uh, I don't know. And what the hell is that big box supposed to be? Huh? Shit, man, even my grandmama, rest her soul, had a goddamn plasma screen TV. Uh, I guess our applications do not require more. No shit? Well, congratulations. The first smart thing to come out of your mouth today. Now put your lazy ass back to sleep. You, come on. Let's get this over with. Whoa, that, that was fast. What did you do? Shh. It's a secret. Open up. Oh, <laughs> you scared me. Hey, are, are you part of the rescue team? I knew they'd send somebody to rescue us. All right, I'll come with you. Take me to the rescue area, or whatever you got. You're not part of the rescue, are you? You're just a simple security guard. I heard something. I hope you're taking me to a safe location. All right, great. I guess I'll be staying here with you guys. Thanks for bringing me here safe and sound. Hello, are you? Oh, thank God, you're alive. For, for, for a second there, I thought you... Are you here to rescue me? Should I follow you? Cause I'm 
Last guy I followed tried to kill me and... You... <laughs> you know? I'm blocked, by the way. Do you know what's going on? Is there a big rescue coming? The police? Military? Anything? Uh, where are we going? Oh, thank God. I... I... I Rescuing me. Thank you. Well done, Jake. God, you, you're not one of them. You're, you're a, you're a security guard. Oh, thank God. Are they all gone? You, you killed them all. It had to be done, Bill know it. Now we can finally get back to work without that Damocles sword hanging above our heads. We are still in contact with some colleagues that made it on the higher levels. Once we can prove to them that it's safe, they might come down here to give us a hand. We need to get back to our stations and see what equipment we can salvage and use. William, you go ahead and send the word out that the lower labs are safe. Don't forget to encrypt the message. Sir, I can never repay you for what you just did. But we have to get back to work now. Even though Marcus was a sadistic bastard with no ethics, he was right about one thing. We have to find a way to stop this thing. After you leave this floor, we're going to call back the elevators and keep them under control so we can decide who comes down here. Thank you for everything. And good luck. So much work to be done. As soon as we figure this out, we'll have to find a way to, to spread this. Maybe we'll meet again one day. I have a feeling we will. expect us to believe any of that crap. You heard it yourself. You've been here the entire procedure. We all were. That doesn't mean what we witnessed made any sense. It did. You just have to pay attention to the details. His descriptions were very thorough. That they were. Thanks to him we found a way in. Our attack team was able to successfully enter the complex from where he came out. The details? Is that what matters now? I'm sorry, but I didn't see a nuclear explosion in the middle of the city. Did you? <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. You have to learn to differentiate between memory and fantasy. This whole tale with the explosion and the ultimate destruction of the facility was an obvious stress release. Stress release? We don't have time for stress release. We need answers. How are we supposed to make sense of his ramblings if half of it is fiction? Easy. We already know what happened from the moment he was shot in the head and we took him in. So you could just forget about everything that he said after that. Gentlemen, he's awake. About time. Is he lucid? I should examine him. That won't be necessary. I'm going to need to send him back in. What, so soon? That is not safe. Oh, here we go again. Let's waste two hours hearing him fantasize about how he's gonna save the world. I'm gonna get a cup of coffee. I have no choice. Our men are inside. We lost radio contact. He is our only hope. If you turn him into a vegetable, he won't be able to help us now, will he? Michael, please. The procedure is already at risk due to his head trauma. If you push him too hard, he might have a seizure. He can take it. He must. Does he understand what we're doing? He'll connect the dots eventually. Won't you, Jake? Maybe you should explain it to him. Having him confused isn't helping. Jake, look at me. What do you remember? I'm telling you, you should explain everything to him. The bullet has caused a severe head trauma. It's what's causing his short-term memory loss. The harder he will try to think, the worse it will get. Jake, do you know where you are now? Of course he doesn't know. He's been stuck in his head for the past 12 hours. That is inaccurate. He was always in control. We were just guiding him. If we were controlling everything, he wouldn't have had these... outbursts of mild fantasy. <laughs> Damn it, he's too unstable. You have to stop this. We're almost there, Jake. Go back in. Look at the lights. This is insane. You are killing him. God, this is 
nose is bleeding. Jake, go back in. Now. That's it. He can't take any more. His heart is gonna explode. What are you doing? You're killing him. Jake, read it! There's something in the room! Ah! 